Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and welcome to Legend of the Cryptids. Now, you guys probably know this game if you've played Rage of Bahamut before. Um, if you guys have played Rage of Bahamut. Now, this game was around when Blood Brothers was around. Like, this is a pretty, pretty old game, and it's been surviving for a long time, which I'm actually surprised about, and I just came to it and saw it in the Google Play Store, and I was just like, dude, what's This game is still going on, dude. Let me go ahead and download it and play it so i know a few things about this game it's been a long time since i heard this thing jeez this is like a real throwback so i used to have an old guild in this game but i had to stop playing because my phone did not have enough data to actually keep up with this game but now that i have a good pc and a good emulator i can actually play this game again uh so this game is way way more friendly to free to play players than the Rage of Bahamut was. The Rage of Bahamut was just like ultimately pay to win. But I'm pretty sure this game still has a large pay to win fan base on here too. Uh, their login rewards aren't half bad either. You get a UR as well. You get like dude. After a few days you start getting gems too. Gems are pretty much the currency in the game. Oh, after 14 days, it starts skipping days, too. So, yeah, the more you keep logging in, the oof, the higher the rewards you get. Like, that's not half bad for logins, because normally a lot of logins wouldn't even give you rewards like this. I wonder what's the last date. Oh, you get 3,000 if you log in. 2,000. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of days logged in. I don't even think I can log in that long. But I do already have some rewards here. They gave me 300 gems. I don't think those are the only login rewards. Those are milestones. You still get login rewards from Larry every single day, but they're not just as good as the ones you're seeing on there. So if I remember right, Mighty Dragon was a, um, was it enhanced material or was it gold? I don't know. I'll learn it again. Go to gems, friendship points. Go my coins. I have one summon, two summon, one summon. Okay. Oh, you get fifty of these when you start. That's kind of ridiculous. Jeez. Uh, at least they're bound and not the uh, tradable ones. I'm pretty sure this game still had trading, right? Oh, I pick water and I have her. Hmm. I don't think element counts towards your account like Bahamut did, right? At least I don't think it did. And trap is mostly because you guys... I think you guys have actually seen the concept of um, treasure. When you attack other players and collect these treasures and it unlocks a card for you. I think you guys have I think a lot of people have seen that. Alright, let's open these. We open these in the summon area. Which is right about... Uh, what, did, what does she do? If I can actually go there. These are the card packs. This is basically where you come to summon. I don't think I have that many gems. Okay, this is the first free summon. Let's do that. So this guy largely boosts forest attacks. This game probably has like a crap ton of cards now. I wouldn't even doubt if this game has a shit ton of cards. Alright, we found the summons. Now let's do the 50% first. See what we get. That's good though. Ah, sweet. 
We got one. She looks pretty interesting. Hmm. Obviously, the loading screens aren't to be desired. <laughs> what does this do? Largely boost all attack types. Okay, so she's universal. That's nice. So I was lucky enough to get something to get out of that. Let's use both of them. Hopefully we get some more waters. Uh, fire. Hopefully he's universal. Not a water. Sweet. What are their skills? Boost all attack augment by the number of cards for the element in their front line. Okay. How about this guy? Wait, hold on. Great boost to water defense and great drop to all attack types? Wait, is that our team? I hope that's not our team. That would suck if it drops to us. Alright, this is our last one. Alright, so this is a card I saw on the front screen. What does she do? Great boost to all attack types. So I got kind of a universal team going on. Too bad I can't use all of them because I'm pretty sure the game does limit you. Oh, they're... Wait. They're animated now? I need to figure out stuff. Yeah, your power and defense. It's pretty much like the whole cost thing. Cards do have cost on them. Oh, I got friend requests for people. Now, you can't re-roll in this game. Just basically make a new account. I'm not going to re-roll because I've never been a huge fan of re-rolling accounts. Unlike Rage of Bahamut, it didn't let you re-roll because you had to bound the freaking account to your phone. Because you can only, they would force you to only hold one account. So I can put it into all of my energy, I, or I can pour it into all of my attack. I was thinking I should pour it all into my energy, just as a start off, because I won't be doing PvP for eh, probably a while. I'm trying to figure out the way to get to my cards. <laughs> Where are the cards? There we go. I want a closer look. So this one's animated. It actually looks pretty dope. How much is her cost? Her cost is 20, so I can't use her. I can set her as my leader though. you I question your methods here because then that's just gonna be friendly fire dude and you you got to chill on that now there is another card I want to look at where is she there she is oh she does look pretty dope hmm why food material anywho what were the other cards we got? We got... Is this... Goat or... Enhance? I don't remember. XP. There we go. Yeah, it is. XP Dragon. But yeah, I'm gonna put it mostly into energy at the moment 
just for the start off. I'm gonna put in eight here. Three there. Three there. Wait, what is what is auto? Auto just evens it out. I guess you can even evenly put it out too. Hmm. Eh, why not? Let's just even it. Can I go to my attack deck too? Uh, there are guilds too. There's a title, a Vulsion. So in this game, to get more stats on your cards before evolving, you have to max level the card. Max level both cards before you like evolve them together. I'm pretty sure there's like four stages of evolve for each card. All right, all right, let me shut my dumb ass up and just stop it right there because I was about to give you guys Rage of Bahamut's way of evolving. So Rage of Bahamut's way of evolving is this little table right here where you pose a max level all these cards, fuse them together, then once you get onto the stage two, which is the second line, you max all those cards, put those two together, then they all are Evolution 3, then you put Evolution 3s together, fully powered up, then you evolve those into the perfect 4 star. In this game, you only have to evolve 2 cards. So, so max level both cards, fuse them together, and you're done. So it's only Evolution 2 instead of Evolution 4. So let me just go ahead and stop myself on that before I give you guys the wrong information there. <laughs> now that I actually remembered. I'm pretty sure trading is in the game. I think that's why. Hold on. Yeah, trading. That's normally what you would do with your friends is just trade cards. So, yeah. I have nothing to trade. Well, actually, I probably have something to trade. I just don't know if anybody would love to trade with me. Or give me better things. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm definitely going to be playing this a lot, because I missed this game. I missed the whole grind. So the questing phase is pretty much like any other card game, especially if you play Hamid. This is where you level up, get cards, fuse them together, stuff like that, level up, get more points. Um, there is an event going on, I'm pretty sure. Their, their event is collabing with... Um, Valkyrie Crusade, those of you guys who know Valkyrie Crusade, it is pretty much, oh, yeah, those of you guys know, know Valkyrie Crusade, it's pretty much that um, game that's also a card game, um, but it has building instead too, which I figured out my account, but the game screwed up to where I logged, I'm logged, i logged out of my account and logged into somebody else's account for some reason. It's weird, dude. They broke the game to where people would be logging on to other people's accounts inside of this game. I don't know why. It was like some dude's like high power. It was like some like really powerful dude's team. Like he had URs, LRs. I'm just sitting here like, dude, why am I logged into this guy's account? Somebody's probably logged into mine, too, and ruining it. These idiots can't control their own game. It's basically what I was thinking to myself. So, yeah, they're collabing with them. You guys can go ahead and link your accounts, do that event, level up, get this card. Log in for 10 days, get that card. So they, so they do collabs. You guys know that now. Uh, let's go back to questing because we do need more points. Actually, is there another event going on? Login promo. So I got... Tomorrow, I get this. And those greatly increase my cards level. Where is other events? 
I think this is a pack, right? Yeah, they normally show off their cards when they're new. I'm trying to look for some more events. Oh, duh. Go to the event page. Special. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is the only event that's going on right now, so... We would just naturally go back to questing and getting more points. Now, I'm pretty sure there is like a archive too. I don't know if they give you rewards. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's the deck editor. Wait, this is the team you tried to give me? Oh, I need a hundred to have this much is what you're telling me. Okay. That makes more sense. <laughs> Trying to find... There it is. I don't know if you get anything for evolving them. Maybe there's milestones? Maybe there's not? Uh, I guess for collection purposes you would want to collect all of them, right? But there's 700 pages? Yeah. 730 30, 30 pages of cards. So... This side is 8, this side is 8. So 16 pages. Like, think about that. That's like over like a thousand or two thousand cards in this game that you guys can collect. Yeah. Have fun. Because <laughs> I know I will. Coming back to this game, seeing new cards and everything. Oh yeah, and each quest phase that you finish, you also get a point. So, yeah, the more quests you finish, the more points you get. As much as you level up. And when you level up, your, your energy does replenish. So that's naturally why people wait for, like, these way better events to come in and when these events come in they have like really really good xp increase which would be the best way to like use your points because each time you replenish you can go like way way farther into the event you don't have to waste your pots but then again for showing off purposes i'm doing this <laughs> Hell, I might put all my points into freaking attack just to show you guys PvP. Well, if the game ever starts loading. Okay, there we go. So there's reasons why I prefer this way more than Rage of Bahamut. Even though Rage of Bahamut is pretty much... Eh, actually. Even though Rage of Bahamut is pretty much closed down now. It no longer is this. Which means rip them. It's unfortunate, but they they were like extremely greedy when it came to money. Which is their fault for their own downfall. I think I'm almost out of energy. Okay, here we go. So this is treasure. You're supposed to attack other players for this treasure and just get all six of them and we get all six you can turn them into a card these cards are actually pretty weak they start you know progressively getting stronger and stronger the higher the um, treasure and the further in the story you are you can booby trap them with the traps that you guys let me get I finished the stage got one point But that's all I can do. Request sent. Okay, the game's automatically send re sending requests for me for some reason. Oh, I was about to say. So we also have these, which... I don't know what they go to. Uh, go 
back. So do we... Oh, okay, here's this stage. So you stage those for one of these characters. Oh. Okay, so she's just different element. So, yeah, all these are different elements. Or you can get this. Okay, then. You can only get one, though. That's the thing. All right. I think I know who I want to use. Oh, I'm pretty sure I can't use you guys. You know that, right? Apparently they're saying I can't. <laughs> I, I know I can't. Hold on. If that's the case, I'll just add her. But I'm pretty sure I can't use that team. So I'm going to go over here and just... Throw her in it. Just she's the only largely increase um, attack all, I think. Well, hold on. Here I go again. Forgetting the characters. Stats. Yeah, great. Increase. Great increase. Great. Yeah, she's literally the only large increaser I have. Okay, so I'm going to do her as leader and I'm going to enhance her now why do you think I automatically want to upgrade her out of everyone in my deck you think I want to upgrade her right now where's my dragon there he is Oh yeah, you can upgrade their skills too. To make their skills like way stronger. Alright, so she's level 5 now. Got a little bit of damage and defense going on. So defense works is the same as attacking. If somebody attacks you, that's the number of defense on the card you can use against them. Uh, let's attack. Well, this guy has defense 10. So let's just go ahead and take from him. Huh? Apparently we can use this. Okay, though. Way better team than I was thinking I could use. Now, your cards, I'm pretty sure has a chance of activating? Or is it all just activating? Okay, yeah. So... Characters do tie to your like player account, so if you're if you already picked water, waters are going to be stronger for you. If you have fire in your water, it's not going to get a boost. Strength denial. Player results. Who wins? I win. I always win. It's me. You do get a little bit of gold, and you do have to use uh, power potions if you run out of power, I think. Oh. Hold on. Yeah, there's your attack. Your defense also has a stamina to it, too. So I'm pretty sure if you hit a lot, you can lose all your defense. And as your defense go down, the less cards that are going to be inside of your, um, the less cards that's going to be inside your deck. So let's say I'm using this and it says I need 102. So 
let's say if it goes down to 80, one of these cards are going to be forced out of the defense. And then it's going to get weaker and weaker the more people attack me. Which is going to really suck if it hits zero because nobody's going to be in there at that point and people can just get freebies up off you. Now you really shouldn't care about the treasures just because they, they suck. They honestly do suck. Unless you like somehow find a really powerful one. But it's actually pretty nice that they're adjusting some cards to elements. Like you guys saw inside of there where it would... Hold on. Let's edit this. To where it would uh, pretty much change... Or you can exchange in for an element of your type. Uh, I was going to change to a water. But I don't really have a lot of water URs. I guess I'll keep them for now. They're not hurting anyone. But yeah, that's pretty much the basis of this game. Uh, join a guild, do guild battles. That They do have guild wars and everything. So yeah, I'm waiting... You would probably want to wait for a questing um, event to pop up because that's where everything starts to hold together. I'm pretty sure it doesn't take long to get energy in this game. So if anything, you could focus on energy. But if you're trying to aim yourself more to PvP, you would aim for attack and defense. But for starter progress, I would recommend going for energy. The only reason I went for energy was just to show off a little bit more. Trying to get like a better team. But that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, you do need a high card for like bosses too. Hold on, let's, let's use some energy. Why not? We can use some pots, just for the sake of the video. Because I'm pretty sure there are bosses, right? Just like Rage of Bahamut. Yeah, bosses. Boss appears. Oh, receive a UR card from this. What? They definitely changed their rewards. Wow, okay. It is more free-to-play friendly. You can invite that friend. Um, I don't think I have a fire friend, unfortunately. Eh, that worked too. <laughs> We're going to transform him into fire. So yeah, you can bring in teammates to help you with bosses. Stage bosses. It really depends on your main leader's attack. So I get this card for defeating him. <laughs> I'm not winning the game. Like, if you were going to give me all these good win cards, I would have been like, hey, sure, why not? <laughs> but, jeez, I'm not win. Just stop it. But, yeah, guys, that's pretty much the basics of the game. Try it out yourselves. They do have a tutorial. Um, this game is kind of weird on phones, though. For some reason, that some of the animations don't go through on my Android, so I would recommend using an emulator. It really doesn't take all that much to run, so you guys should be good. So, yeah, I'm going to leave you guys with that and collect all your waifus and stuff like that. Have fun. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Just keep pushing through. Yeah, what you got to lose? Yeah, what you got to lose? Yeah, what you got to lose? Cause what you got to lose?